So to the in reverence to the the watchers avid watchers of this youtube channel i went back in a gentleman posted something like you got to give it a fair test so i went back into the normal way of what i do minus the q clone and i found out that the result of the plugin is is a tad bit better okay now this isn't me trying to be loaded to to say you should use hardware or plugins this is to get to the truth of what this really is is the plugin actually capable of doing this so then i got on the phone with sean again and i said well sean you know it is incredible how that q clone captures that hardware like that and it makes it very efficient for a for a session it's a tool in the toolbox and we're here to learn and we're here to to talk about this and get to the truth of it so a gentleman posted on that and i was like dude i gotta do a follow-up video and i gotta do it now so i went back in and i made three different things okay so what i'm gonna do the first time around it was 42 seconds i got to it um this is the hardware okay so this is me as a creative artist and i wanted to bring a new just a whole new dimension to this. I think one of the, the funnest things and the most exciting things and joyful things about music is just grabbing and going. And, and, and me as an engineer, it is important to me. There is a, there's a certain um, sound that I'm thinking of in my head and I just I start tweaking, I start going, and that's that. Now here's the thing, I'm gonna do both of these. I'm gonna do it with a plugin and then I'm gonna do it with the hardware. Well, actually I'll do the hardware first and then I'll do the plugin. So I'm going to put a virtual timer. I don't even know if I can find one of those graphics, but if not, we'll just, we'll just see when we edit back the video, how, how long it took me to get there. So the first one, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to do some basic EQ of something I hear, I, you know, something that sounds good and go for it. And then I'm going to do it with the plugin and try to, you know, try to get in the ballpark of that sound that I did. Um, not necessarily the exact same, but see just the, the same kind of creativity. So um let's do it so here's the record well i don't have to record it i'll just highlight it and play it through so you can hear it in the video um let's go let's let's see what we got so here we go It's a pretty cool sound, right? I don't even know how long that was. Um, let's do one more. Let's let's actually do one more on the on the uh, hardware, just to give it a little bit of a test. Here we go. So we'll set it back, set it back, set it back. Get rid of this. Here we go. Let's go some Fleetwood Mac-ish, right? How long was that? Loved it. Thought it sounded good. So let's try to get that with the heart with the plug-in. Now you're gonna notice this sounds a lot better. So in all due respect to Duende um, and SSL, this this is a more fair assessment to their plug-in. Um, let's see here. So let's go to this. Let's make sure that this is this. I had no compression. Which way is that? Yeah, like that. So there's this thump I can't get with this. I'm going to match it. 
there's like a thump that I'm hearing that I cannot get to happen with the plugin. Um, let me see here. Give it more thresh, I meant more ratio. Okay, so we're going to send that to this gentleman. I can't get that flatness to happen. Um, the reason I want that flatness is because watch what happens with the kick drum. Check this out. So this is the process base. Let me put that kick drum over. The kick drum you heard from the first video. Check this out. So watch what happens with this bass with that kick drum. Um, sorry, I got the camera right in front of my face. So this is the hardware and watch how it stacks. Really interesting. Now with the plug in. See how it buries a little bit? So that's why I'm trying to get this to do that. That's about as close as I've got. Okay, so I'm going to send that to him. I guess in the grand scheme of things, the reason that I wanted to do this video is because really let's put this into real, real world testing. That was the real world. That first video was showing the Q clone, um, how incredible it captures this. Um, once again, I'm, I'm having uh, a little bit of difficulty getting this to do exactly that. And what I'm hearing just before I get off this video is I'm hearing this like, like pillowing sound. This almost like creating a pocket, um, a little more bass. I'm really hitting the bass harder on this. And that pocket is letting that kick drum come forward. So it's a better mix to me. Um, does that mean that the plugin's better than the hardware? The hardware is better than the plugin? No. Not, this is not what this is about, but for some reason I'm having a tough time um, and we'll have to look back at how much time it took me, but that's what we're talking about here. Is there is there something to be said about hardware and the way it interacts? Is there something to be said about this SSL? And, and does it sound better in context and so forth? Now, the other thing that we had as a debate, and I want your guys' opinion on this because this seriously matters. This stuff matters. Um, creatively, I mean, I got to this in, uh, I don't know how much time and I was ready to move on, you know, and then I'm onto the kick and then I'm onto the snare and then I'm onto the hi-hat and I felt like I was creative in that process. Um, this, I sort of rabbit hole and I started to tweak and started to interact with stuff. So that's another thing to think about when it comes to our creativity. We do this for creative purpose. We're not doing this to build tests equipment so i think the the q clone did not give a fair assessment to this channel strip i think that sounds a much more um much more like this i think the thing that i hear in this right now is the low end still is having a tough time it could be my converter it could be something else but i want you to comment on this video and let's get to the bottom of this is it me pushing the threshold wrong is it is it the actual x rack itself and the summing and the sound of the the unit that's causing that 
that effect? Because a lot of people buy the SSL stuff just for the summing. Um, is it the the actual process of it hitting an insert? Okay, because I have to put that in this video. There's an insert and that SSL EQ is running in and out of that insert. In the case of the Black Lion, they actually replicated that insert. So it makes you think about that. Can they do an insert in the plugin and so forth? So my name's Doug Jenkins. I wanted to come back with this video like quick because uh, I don't think the Q clone is necessarily doing exactly what the plugin's doing. When I put it on that track above, it was still going through the Q clone. And uh, actually it wasn't, but it just, it just seems that the Q clone really did something unique to the SSL EQ. So that's another thing to think about. So once again, my name is Doug Jenkins, iMixAmaster.com. This is, this is food for thought, guys. And I appreciate your comments, and I appreciate the first comment on the video. Um, and we'll send you out, those, we'll send you out the, the original file and then the uh, process file. So we'll see you guys. Peace.